Hello girls, this is the bridal makeup for wedding day, wedding day and it's actually you can use it in whatever occasions even you can go to the party and you can go whatever you want but I'm specially made for the wedding day because um I just have fun okay stay tuned I'm gonna show you how to do this bye bye So first, I've done with my color, uh, easy color foundation with my eyes. Then I'm gonna add with uh, white. Don't worry, it's white. It's a matte white, very matte. Nothing at all. It's just white. At the front, towards half of the eyelid, blend it well, and then. The next color will be some kind of peach color. Very beautiful. I love it very much. At the back, at the corner of the eye. You know, it's very neutral. Very, uh, not neutral, I mean, matte and very natural. Remember to blend it well. Okay, I know people are afraid when um, I say it is a red bright co color, but come on, just be calm, it's a very in color. And then next I will apply another color, it's the red maroon color. Let me show you. This color, really maroon. Red purple, yeah. At the corner, just corner, and bring it. Once you dab it, you bring it towards the front. Just like this. Bring it upwards a little bit. And make sure to blend it. So that it's not so visible. More natural. And then we will go on to liner. You can use liquid liner. I most recommend it. But I don't have right now, so I'm using pencil liner. Draw it as thick as you want. I like thick one because I'm mono lit. And once you're done with the upper liner, you have to go with the red. A maroon that high so we have just done to intense the color like this one you see the difference yeah just to intense the color and blend the liner so that the, w the liner won't be visible too much like you know there won't be too line at your eyelid All you gotta do is blend the liner with your shadow. And move it towards the front. Just like the monolith tip that I have taken the videos long times ago. I don't know, I can't remember. That long time ago. If you want to know more, you can go to my channel and you know the monolith tips right there. Okay, girl, I've done with the upper lid. We'll go on to the lower lash line by drawing the black eyeliner at the waterline and the lower lash line. Draw it thick and visible. 
and then we will go on with the angle brush and pick the red maroon that I have just used and dab the color at the lower lash line just below the liquid liner or water uh, li pencil liner that you have just drawn and combine it to the upper lash line then we will go on with a highlight you know bridal love highlights it just want to make your brow bone much more highlighted by using a, a white color or any shining color then you just apply it at the eyebrow bone we'll go on with the nose just apply a little brown I'm using this brown this kind of toffee color cappuccino just to intensify your um, to make your nose to be much more definite make it look natural and highlight it if you want I love to highlight so I'm gonna take a brush highlight it I'm using the yellow color here it's kind of shiny it looked matte in the camera but it's actually shining a little bit so that intensify the bridge of the nose makes the nose look much more beautiful you can ignore this step if you don't want okay and then we are done we are going to have the blush and we really have a really beautiful blush with this Radish color. Move towards the And then we're going to lips. Uh, for lips, I'm using two color. One is this one. Another one will be a shining color to make your lips much more intense. The darker color will be at the side of your lips and the inner part of your lips and then for the upper lips it's the same here and then do we and then fill up the space with another color which is the brightest color and add a little glossy and much more brighter color at the front just to intensify that So girl, we are done with our makeups and we are ready to change our clothes and meet the bridegroom. Bye bye!